Yes, for his new move as he pours out his spirit upon all flesh, pours out his grace, pours out his mercy, pours out his love upon each and every one of us. We know that if it had not been for the Lord, we don't know where we would be, but God saw fit to deliver us, to heal us, to save us, to sanctify us, and to fill us with the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, I'm asking for your spirit to minister life and life more abundantly for so many, dear God, that will simply receive you. And for those, dear God, that make it real difficult and turn it into different wording if I sing, it's nothing but religion, it's nothing but tradition, it's nothing but man. Those that lie, may they eat of the lie that they speak, but those that will speak the truth, may they eat of the truth. We understand, dear God, your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Because if it had not been for you, we wouldn't even be here on this day. But God, you blessed us. You caressed us and you loved us and you told us to live again. And God, you gave us a chance many times that others would never think of. But yet, you called us to life. Bless your people, dear God. In the midst of a crisis, bless them with life. I don't care how much our backs are up against the wall. Dear God, we decree the favor of God, the move of God, your spirit to continue gracefully in Jesus' name. God, we don't let go that easy. We hang on. You know what's best. And dear God, we thank you for your spirit that's governing our lives, wording our mouth, giving us things to teach and to tell your people because God, we know not but you know everything. So we thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank God for being here, and we thank God for each and every one of you as we fellowship this morning in spirit and in truth, as we begin to call on the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, the Alpha and Omega God, first, last, beginning and ending, almighty, omnipotent, all-knowing, Dear God, I'm asking you to bring life to a great company, a multitude of people. Because God, as we come, we surrender ourselves that others might live. That we could be that bridge to carry somebody over troubled waters. And dear God, we thank you for doing so now. In Jesus' name, amen. Not by power, nor by might, but by God's spirit. Come on, somebody. If you can get into that rim of the spirit, what a difference one day can make. There's too many people that's trying to do something that cannot be done. There's always people that's there that's heeding prayer for the call of God is on each and every one of our lives. Bless your, the people of God everywhere. And I'm asking many of you to be blessed and be found with what we better know as being the favor of God. We're going into the winter months. You can sense the seasons and the times are changing, but they're speeding up because what's happening, a lot of people may know and a lot of people may not know, but yet we press our way up the King's Highway. There's so many people that know very little about the press. But to be at your best at this time is to be in the way of the kingdom. And I'm asking for many of you to press and to believe and to stand in that liberty where would Christ have made us free. To be not entangled again with the yokes of bondage. Because we've been around bondage before we know what it feels but when you set us all free we came free to god and i'm asking many of you to come out of it snap out of it move out of it press out of it the situation where the enemy has tried to bring you to and told you that you'll never make it but god is a liberator he's a very present help in a time of trouble or need and I'm a firm believer that God is going to meet that need in your life because I believe God. And in believing God, I've never seen God do the works that I've seen him do before. 
where the impossible is made possible. And I'm saying to somebody right now, it's time for you to move into that place where the enemy is trying to tell you it'll never happen. It'll never come to pass. God said it is so. Because if you use your faith, he said now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So the things which do appear were not made of things that do appear. We just take it by faith. And we take it by force and we believe God. As you pick up the phone this morning to dial area code 313-838-1035, I'm going to believe God with you. Come, beloved, let's trust God. Let's believe God. There's so many things we can believe God for because God has already deigned it to be so. And, of course, the enemy is angry with you because of what you believe about the God that you serve. And serving him the way that we serve him, we tell the devil he's a liar in the name of Jesus. He can't have what God has already spoken from the beginning to now. So as we begin to pray, let's believe. We're going to take our first caller this morning. God bless you, caller. Bobby. Man, man. Hey. Brother say I don't feel good, Pastor Tay. You don't? Did you get out the day? Did you go for a walk? Uh, uh, that's the truth, Pastor Tay. I ain't lying to you, Pastor Tay. So you didn't go for a walk? You stayed at home? Mm-hmm. But Bobby, you got to exercise. <laughs> I ain't want to see Pastor Tay. It got something to do with that medicine I take. What kind of medicine you take it? I told you I take, uh, I mean, no medicine for my mom, mind, so. For your eyes? My mind. Oh, for your mind. Oh, psychotropic mm -hmm. medicine. Yeah. Well, you're not crazy, Bobby. I know, but I think that medicine might make me sick, yeah. Maybe well, you tell the doctor you can't take day, that medicine because it makes you sick? Maybe you every night. It makes me sleep all day and then at night. That don't come out no, all Bobby, day no. and night. No, 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 no. I, that medicine makes me sleep all day. I think you don't need to sleep all day, day Bobby. Mm. Mm -hmm. But, Bobby, look. Then you pray for me. You begin to ask pray. the doctor, can you get off that medicine mother. because it makes you sick? And I'm asking oh. right now that you be totally healed. Your mind is perfect. Yeah, because it's yeah. a reason why you keep calling me for prayer. And I believe God points yeah. you in that direction. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking the Holy Spirit to heal you miraculously, supernaturally. Mm -hmm. And that by his stripes mm -hmm. you heal. Oh, yeah. come on. You're not schizophrenic. I the Lord has that. touched your mm -hmm. mind right now. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name, and by this, yeah. Bobby, you are healed. Amen. Amen. God. Amen. All right, Bobby. All right, you pass the pain. We love you too, Bobby. God bless you. Well, I call you Monday, pass the pain. Okay, Monday be good. All right. Amen. I thank God for Bobby. We give God the praise because see. God gave us Bobby. We're going to take our next caller. God bless you, caller. Good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning, Pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, uh, hold on. I can't. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Pastor, can I call you back? Call me back because you're in so much pain. I'm asking God to heal you. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Father God, we thank you for my brother. He's going through some rough times now. Thank you for healing. In Jesus' name. All right, we'll take our next caller. 
Good morning, Pastor Craig. Good morning. How you doing, my sister? Oh, how you doing there, Pastor Craig? How you doing there? Angela? Yes. Angela? I was just coming in for prayer because I went through a little battle yesterday. And, um, and I was calling out for help. But I have to say, everybody, I mean, a lot of people know I can't see. They take advantage of me. They talk about me. But I'm the most righteous person. I'm not right, 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 but I'm trying to be right. But if you need a shirt, I would give you a person's shirt off my back. I'm just tired of being comfortable. And I say to myself, and you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm not out there in the streets. I never was even a right person. I never was that type of person. I'm 42 years old. I'm quiet. I don't bother nobody in my business. I say to myself, leave as I please. And I'll be tired of people talking about me. Uh-huh. Well, are you, what happened to you? You said you called out for help and nobody came. Well, what when the power was out of my building, I lost it. Oh, no, the power was, went out of your yeah. building. Yeah, it had went out, and then my um, debit card, I uh, misplaced uh, when I went over my aunt's house for three days. I lost and your what I, lost now? Order. I had um, tried to order me something to eat, but I had lost some debit cards, and, and um, I couldn't do it. Did house. you report it lost? Yeah, they were for you. Okay. And, um, and I just can't believe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. uh-huh. So, yeah. because the power went out, and you cried out for help, and it seemed like nobody came. No. Was the emergency no. button on in your building? No, it wasn't there. It was the food issue I was having. I didn't go it, grocery shopping. It was the food issue? Yeah, and I didn't go grocery shopping when I got paid because I was trying to wait for the food. Oh, food poisoning? No, not food poisoning. I was calling out for to food today, yesterday, but I didn't get it and took a half a minute, but... Um, okay. It, it, well, let's, let's pray. Whatever help that you need, I'm asking for God to have somebody right there. I know God's angels is encamped around about you because God knows more than what we know. And because it's, it would seem like you can't see, you can see quite well. Spiritually, you call in for prayer, not just for yourself, but for others. And many times you believe God against all odds. So right now we're believing God with you, that God may totally heal and cause your spirit to be quickened by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. I thank you for those new pair of eyes, Father. I thank you, dear God, for healing my sister. Give her the mindset to continue this journey and do the work of the kingdom. In Jesus' name, we pray it now. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. We give God the praise. We take our next caller. God bless you, Cole. Thank you, um, Reverend Tate. This is Sister Tillman. Sister I've been, um, hi, I did move, and I did have uh, a guy from Detroit, my, my uh, daughter's friend, and another lady. We moved it, uh, I'm so much in pain in my neck, but 
it was three of us that moved. God had gave me the strength to just get most of this stuff down here. And the guy was just, God had used him marvelously because he carried the bed and everything down the street. And I just, my heart goes out to him because I don't want him in pain. And, and my neck is just stiff. And my Mm -hmm. sister said, that's that claim. But see, like I said, I just called in for a praise report, but I know God is a healer. So I know I uh, can rest, but I said in in due time, and I will be, you know, I am already got to believe in my mind that God already said, you already healed. So I was just calling to get that praise report, and I need prayer for that stiffness. And I, I couldn't rest, and I said, that stiffness, ooh, in my neck, but I know I'm healed, but I just want to sleep, you know, and just yes. be able to build that strength, because God gives us all strength if we believe. Yes. But I want to be able to rest, you know. Father God, so right I, now, I thank, you thank you for the spirit of the Almighty God that's healing my sister that she can get the rest that she needs and be at her best. And God, she moved and thank you for the gentleman and the woman that came to help and how they helped her. And she even worked hard. And and Father God, I rebuke the stiffness out of her neck. I command for her to be healed on this, your holy day. Because God, you answered prayer. And you're still answering prayer. But Father God, let her rest right now. And we thank you for doing that by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And I would like to pray too, because I know he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And chastised and peace was placed upon him by whose stripes we are here. He didn't say, going to be here. We are here. And I want to pray for that gentleman, too, that just called in in so much pain. And I said, Lord, heal him, too. Because I know he healed, but I want him to believe, too. In him, you know, yes. in the Lord. Yes. yes. Whoever that caller was, I'm praying for him too. And everyone that's in pain, in the hospital group homes, in the nursing homes, all yes. over. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. I Thank you, Reverend Tate. Yes, because I'm 66. I give God the praise for that. Amen. The lines are open, area code 313-838-1035. Call right now. I'm believing God with you. We're praying one for the other. And no matter what it looks like naturally, spiritually, God is going to do something. There's a lot of people that need God right now. According to the scriptures, he is she that cometh to God must first believe that he is and that he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. That's just a place to erase the past and move on into destiny because God has purpose for you. He hasn't given up on you. Don't you give up on God. I have no Nothing else I can do but to believe that one day at a time, God is going to translate us from one place to the other. Will you come with me? Will you pray with me? Will you believe God? I'm believing God for perfect timing in the spirit of the Lord that God began to bless. I give God the praise for you, and I thank God for you. Listen, area code. 313-838-1035. I want you to call call now. And the Spirit of God to meet that need that has your heart so heavy. We'll take our next caller. God bless you, caller. Yeah, Pastor. I just called you and I 
I told you, uh, I mean, I said to you, uh, hold on, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm walking now. Uh, I'm waiting on the bus. I'm outside. This is new to me because I haven't been outside like this in a while. But it's going to be long, so I'm going to try to make it short, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I was evicted uh, this week. I'm 72 years old. I was evicted, and certain things happened. But I end up uh, going to an overnight shelter. You know, that's why I'm out in the street now. And I, I'm not used to this. I was six miles in the and how to pass So, okay. I just let you know I had a breakthrough today. Okay. And I had went through really uh, during the time of eviction. So uh, I'm going to make sure you're going to hear my testimony right now, right now. But uh, I need help because I'm walking now. <laughs> Ooh, and buses aren't coming. So I've got to go to Sinai Grace. I've been there last week. Okay. I have an infected toe. <laughs> so you're going to take six miles down to Sinai? Yes, sir. <sighs> okay. That infected so I'm just walking. toe. Yeah, it, it, it got infected from the... Now, this is really weird. The big toe infected the toe next to it. You know, I never heard of that. Cause I, you know, I didn't injure it or anything. Uh-huh. You know, stomp my feet or whatever, and and it developed like a blister. But it got bad. It was last week. It got real bad. Do you have like, diabetes? I'm walking now, but I'm, sir. That's what? Do you have diabetes? No, no allergies. I'm, I, I'm taking antibiotics. <laughs> are, you, are you taking blood thinners? Uh, well, I, you know, they had checked my heart out last week, but I know I don't need a blood thinner. You see, okay, that's that's good. I well, don't have like any. Okay, let's okay. agree that your toe be healed because <laughs> that infection is a terrible thing, and I rebuke it right now. You're trying to walk, mm-hmm. yes, sir. Yep, and you're trying to get to a certain place, yeah. And I'm going to ask God that you be able to get there. Yeah, okay. The mercy of God would be upon you this time of the morning. Yeah. Out there walking in the dark. Yep. Ask me I'm asking God that the bus would come swiftly, quickly. And on top of that, oh, yeah. you'd be able yep. to get there. Yep. After being addicted. And now you've got a breakthrough. But God yeah, will heal you. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I believe that God's doing that right now. Mm-hmm. In the name of mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. And for this we mm-hmm. will give him praise. Honor yeah, and great baby. glory. For healing yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. In yeah. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You yeah. call that 24 mm-hmm. prayer line number. Let me know. Amen. Okay. That uh, what's that number? You made it, okay? Okay. Number three one three. Hold on, I gotta pin it out. I don't Hold on. Out of time, but just listen. Three one three two seven nine zero five five eight. Okay. Amen. Thank you. 313 Thank you, Pastor. All right. God bless. We got to do the station ID. WMUZ FM HD1 Detroit. 1035 The Light. Streaming online at WMUZ.com. Detroit made, Bible strong. Amen.
We give him praise. I would to God I could help him. Um, I ask God to send him an Uber. I'm asking God for an emergency run for him. Sometimes we just go through some rough places, and that's a hard place to be evicted. But he got into an emergency shelter, but now he's trying to get to the hospital because of an infected toe. And I rebuke gangrene. It will not set up in his body. In Jesus' name. I'm asking many of you to continue to pray for him. And I thank God that that pain is subsiding now. In Jesus' name. Ah, uh, call the prayer line number. And you can just say, I agree with your pastor. Area code 313-838-1035. I'd like for many of you to believe with me. And I understand a lot of things that a lot of people don't understand. Sometimes people have a tendency to try their best to do and say things even against others and to keep people from getting into a certain place. We have to pray one for the other. We do. And that's most important. Let us continue to believe God as we pray one for another and to stand in the gap for each other right now. In Jesus' name. As you pick up the phone to dial, I want you to believe God with me. There's a lot of people that I know and a lot of people that I don't know that need help. And the Bible says he's a very present help in a time of trouble or need. He'll be there when others walk out. He will walk in. He's a kinsman redeemer. He's a savior. He's a deliverer. He's a healer. He'll be all that you want him to be. Miracles do happen. Yes, they do. And they can happen for you. Well, I want to share this with you. We're at the end. And I'm not talking about the end of the broadcast. I'm talking about at the end of time now. United States, wake up. Some things recently happened and the enemy have sifted through. And now our defense is down. It's one thing to have a natural defense. Your body, it has what they call an immune system in it. It's able to heal itself. But then there's times when the immune system go down because when seasons change, we see colds come in. The body begins to shift and change. It begins to ache. Arthritis begins to slip in. The weather changes. It gets cold. Next thing you know, you're going from one extreme is not the other. God wants to heal you no matter what. Today we got a food drive. I'm asking many of you to come out and get the food at 9555 St. Mary's. And I thank God that God's about to pop some doors open that many will not believe. And I'm believing it's being done right now by his spirit in Jesus' name. So come on, men and women of God, people of God, let's believe God. In Jesus' name, amen. Pick up the phone and dial, area code 313-838-1035. Come on, and let's believe God together. In Jesus' name. We'll take our next caller. God bless you, caller. Julia, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Sylvia. God, grace and mercy surround you and be with you. Thank you. God's grace is it's awesome. Awesome. Um, awesome. You hear me? Yeah. The grace of God. When it surrounds you, you have such peace. And my, I'm, 
I'm asking for that peace of mind right now in the name of Jesus and for the listeners. I was happy to hear Angela this morning, my old friend, and I met her through you, Pastor yes. Tate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God is so good in our lives. You know, when we can recognize and pray with one another, there is a uh, there is a uh, object right now that I am dealing with, and it's my my lungs. I told you last night how I I got out of the hospital from having a uh, I can't even say it. I can't say it. God doesn't want me to say it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it was on my lungs and on my heart. Okay. And as I was there in the hospital, I had to share an oxygen. And right now I'm I'm dealing with it. I I don't know if I'm fighting it so because sometimes I I overdo myself and I'm praying for strength to deal with my lungs. A doctor told me one time that he gave me a number that I would I wouldn't be able to pass because of my lungs. And I'm living past it. And I thank God. I thank God that I I can move on. I love yes. the Lord. And I know he loves me. I know he's here with he me does. right now. He does. I know. Are you in the hospital now? I'm at home. You're at home? I'm at home. Okay. Yes. Come and on, if I can pray. get it right. You ready to pray? Yes, I'm ready. Father God, she's healed. Her lungs is healed. Her heart is healed. Everything about her is whole. Because you have designed her to be whole. She don't have to fear or doubt you or your word. Because God, you have ordained a special move of your spirit all over her and others just like her. We thank you for the outpouring of your spirit. Hallelujah. As you minister life and life more abundantly. Thank you, Father, for meeting every need in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Cora. Thank you, Pastor. Good morning. I'm calling in to say that I am standing in agreement with you this morning. Yes. Thank you. And all of God's intercessors, we are here standing in agreement for all of God's children this morning. The gentleman that you just talked to that was on his way to Sinai, he did call uh, the off-the-air prayer line, and he told me to tell you that he is standing in agreement with you as well. So I got his name and his number, and I told him to call us back to let him know that he made it to, to the hospital and that we will continue to hold him up in prayer as well. Yeah, I want to, if, if, if he had a cash app, try to send him enough money to get an Uber and to get down there so okay. he can make it to the hospital. So if you call him back, let me know. Okay. And uh, we're going to okay, believe God. Okay, you have a cash app. And can, okay, okay. Get off the phone, if, get off the air. If he still have made it, we'll try to get an Uber to pick him up. Okay? Okay, Pastor. All right, Father I'll, God. I'll right call now. him back. Okay, I will, I'm sir. I'm asking for your spirit to, to move on him. And to God to bless him and to get him safely to the destination. We thank you for that. And for this, we'll give you praise, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. All right? Amen. Amen. Area code 
313-838-1035. Sometimes I think some of you may know and may not understand we, we can't do everything, but we try. So I'm asking you to try to be a partner because I don't know what the date, what's the date is, engineer? The 10th. It's the 9th. Okay. The 10th, we've got to have, again, $5,800. And we've fallen so far behind. I've asked WMUZ that just maybe I can come down to one hour. And in coming down to one hour, that would be a blessing. Because, see, we've been here so long, and we never had our backs up against the wall the way that it is. And I'm asking for the Holy Spirit to bless us, to give us more grace, more mercy. And I'm asking you to be on board with that. So let's pray and believe God together and weather this storm so that we can get this work done for the kingdom in Jesus' name. Area code 313-838-1035. Claudia, good morning and God bless you. Good morning, Bishop. I'm just calling in this morning to say I believe, I believe in miracles. Just yes. continue to pray for me, that my finances be overflow, so I get blessed and I can bless you as well, Bishop, in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. You. The overflow is here for not only you, your life, your family, and everything that concerns you. By his spirit, we pray now. In Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Bishop. And God bless you, too. Amen. All right. We give God the praise for that. We'll take our next caller. God bless you, caller. Good morning. I was calling for prayer. Yes. What we I would like prayer for for open doors for my life to get better and breakthroughs and miracles. Open doors for your life to be healed and better and breakthrough and miracles. It is so. You say, but why? How could God do this? Because of his tender love and his mercy. You know, God's ways are past finding out. I thank God for those open doors, not only for your life, for the lives all around us. Yeah. Open these doors now, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Likewise. We'll take our next caller. God bless you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm on, huh? You're on. Okay, yeah. I just talked to your uh, uh, prayer line. And she told me everything, but uh, I'm, I'm hold you up. I'm, I told her to tell you because I'm halfway. But uh, you got a message to tell you about these bus stops, okay, Pastor? And I appreciate you know. I've been listening. I told her I've been sending my donation every month. It's twenty dollars over a year, you know. So okay, uh -huh. thank you, Pastor. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We give him praise right now in Jesus name I'm glad he's halfway move God by your spirit uh, we take our next call God bless you caller God bless you caller Pastor Jay, good morning good morning yes sir uh, okay I'm sorry okay um, good morning um, I was just want to just call in for my my brother Dale Okay. That the law will touch his feet and wake him up. <laughs> Father God, I thank you for this brother because, Lord, he carries Dale on his back. and He's taking him to the top of the roof and he's letting him down 
right in front of you, God. I thank you, dear God. I praise you, dear God. I magnify your name for him. May you reward him double for any trouble and that you would bless him because God, he keeps Dale heavily on his mind, his heart, and mine too. In Jesus' name, bless him now, Father. Dale, get up, wake up. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Give God praise. God bless you. All right. We'll take our next call. God bless you, call. Good morning, Pastor. This is Cheryl. I don't morning, believe Cheryl. God. I just refuse to accept any defeat because the devil is defeated. I believe in God going to give We used to come on at 3 o'clock. I believe in God going to give you an increase. I believe in we're going to break the back of the devil. Sunday is say, but we still a deep we decrease in the spirit, but we're gonna increase. That you don't have to cut back. That we started to call that we lost the people that silent listening, that people they used to call that they would pick back up. I'm gonna believe that. I can't stand it. Cause the devil is a liar. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you, Pastor. Thank you, Cheryl. I can't stand it neither. But as long as the door is open, I'll go through it. But I'm asking God to do this. I, re I, I learned something. Except the Lord build a house, the labor's labor in vain. I don't want to do nothing in vain. I want to do everything to the glory of God. And I want you to do the same by his spirit. In Jesus' name, do you trust him? Do you believe him? Can you stand on his word with me? I believe that you can. Area code 313 838 1035. Let's believe God together. Are we weathering this storm? We've been in it for a long time. We'll take our next caller. The lines are open, okay? We're going to play a song, as we do. It's to the glory of God. Call the prayer line. It's open for you. Area code 313-838-1035. Amen. God bless all of you on Facebook. Good morning. And God bless you. In Jesus' name. I never know what a day going to bring, but I thank God. Every day is a beautiful, beautiful day. God bless you. Linda Brown, bless your daughter. Shirley, bless you. Jackson, God bless you. God bless you, my daughter. Amen. In Jesus' name, your beautiful children. Amen. I'm giving God the praise right now. God bless. Sister Farmer, bless you. Amen. So many of you, I'm looking through here to see you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, if it wasn't for you guys interceding with me this time of the morning, thank you for praying with me. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, Philip Kennard. Bless you, sir. In Jesus' name. That's a blessing. Amen. I'm really grateful for all of you this morning. Thank you for being here with me, interceding with me, praying with me. This time of the morning, who in the world is up? It's multitudes from the east, west, north, and the south. All over the country, all over the world. Those of you that's in Kenya, Africa, or wherever you may be, you can call on your Facebook page. That works just as well as the telephone, and guess what? It don't cost you nothing. 
But I'm believing that God bless you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. I give God the praise for all of you. Hallelujah. There's a special, special an anointing. The Spirit of God is poured out without measure, especially now. I'm giving God the praise that he can do that. God is blessing you now in Jesus' name. Good morning, Harold. God bless you. And that's a blessing that I can see you. Let me see if I can pull you up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Give me a minute when this song goes off. I'll pull you up. Amen. I thank God for the Spirit of God. Anytime that you can move into this particular realm of the Spirit, God can take this tide and turn it down. He can do some wonderful things. Yes, he can. And he's going to do it by his spirit. I was just telling Harold, we did our 8 o'clock broadcast. I said, it's amazing you get up that time in the morning. <laughs> he got up again. <laughs> so that's a blessing. Amen. This type of work is not easy. But it's easy when you yield yourself to God. So we thank God for that. Amen. Donna, God bless you. And I give God the praise for you in Jesus' name. So many of you that's coming through this morning, it's a blessing. Don't forget now, tomorrow we got a food drive. And that food drive is something. The Spirit of God is feeding people from the east, the west, the north, and the south. In Jesus' name. So I'm asking God to do that even more now than ever before. Amen. So we give God the praise for that. Now as we get ready to go back on the air after this song, I'm going to give God the praise for that. Now, in Jesus' name, we bind the enemy off the airwaves. Amen. We give him praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Here, give me one minute. I got three calls. I'm going to take them. God bless you, caller. Good morning. God bless you, caller. You call. You're on the air. Ah. God bless you. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. God, bless God bless you. you. Yes, I need prayer. I need favor and yeah <laughs> I have not yet got a car have a car and yeah I dreamed about cars and this and that and I, I go to dealers and people promise me this and that and it hasn't happened yet so I don't know I just need a door to open or a favor or a window or a, yeah <laughs> something well, what kind of car are you looking for? Oh, I like the Buick Encore this is my little SUV for just myself. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask God to give you that Buick on core. In the name yes. of Jesus. You want to use use a new one or what? I'm, I've never had a new car. I'm believing God for a brand new. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Father God, Father God this time, mm -hmm. open up a open door. Up a door. We got people okay. promising that we could do this, we could do, do that. But dear God, but dear God she don't need a whole lot of interest, interest that high that interest, interest rate. rate. She needs a car. A car that she can depend on, a dependable automobile. A car that would carry her from A to B and that would bless her. Right now, in Jesus' name, thank you for doing it, Father. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. All right, Shirley. Good morning, Bishop. I'm believing God with you this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms one eighteen twenty four. King. Now come on, Shirley. You there? I'm. Um, yes. Uh-huh. I'm thanking God this morning for life and life more abundantly. And I just wanted to uh, come on and pray with you. So many people are going through this morning. What kind uh, of calls so many you people are. I'm not on the prayer line right now. No, but they've been calling all day. Pardon? They do call in the day, right? I'm not on the prayer line right now. Okay. Well, when you were getting calls, what kind of calls were you getting? We get all we get all types of calls. We get calls for healing. We get calls for um, different family members going through different things, court uh, cases. Uh, we get calls for um, people that uh, are having problems with their landlords. Get all types of calls. Okay. Which ones stick out more than any of them? Well, the healing. Healing. You know, most, That's what I yeah, just like we're, we're praying for your nephew, brother uh, mm-hmm. Wayne, you know, we get more calls for healing than anything else. I said, I've been running into that more than anything. We touch on the grief for all the people that call, and we're believing God for your family because I'm praying for your son in law. And I'm also okay, praying for your granddaughter. And Chantel has Kobe, so she needs prayer. Again? She never got over hers. Oh, okay. Well, I'm commanding that she be totally healed. In Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And we'd like to thank you, Bishop, for... 49 years of faithful service. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. God bless you, Shirley. All the lines are open. And I'll give God the praise for that now. I have Harold here. Amen. Let's see if I can get him on. Good morning, Harold. Hey, good morning, Bishop. Good morning, people of God. Amen. It's a blessing that you're there. Praise God. Can you hear me, Bishop? I can hear you. I just got to cut you down so we won't have no echo. Amen. <laughs> okay. Usually I hear a big echo, but it's a small one now. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lord. It's a great testimony in your life how God brought you and how he's carrying you. And uh, he's carrying you into full-time ministry. He's carrying you into ministry. Praise God. And I see you climbing the heights, the depths, the shores of everything that God is. Amen. Amen. And that's a blessing. Um, One thing was certain, when you got a hunger for souls, that's full ministry. Most people don't even know. They begin to think, no, I don't have that kind of hunger. Oh, yeah, souls are the most important thing to God. So I'm very grateful that God is using you the way that he's using you. Amen. Amen. And uh, you keep reaching up and just keep on. There's a special anointing that comes with it. I was watching my son minister on Tuesday. People didn't know he was getting high in the spirit. And I saw him. I said, God, (laughs) this is very (laughs) unusual. He said, don't listen, just watch. I would look up and put my head down. I said, Lord, he's getting high. (laughs) And people wouldn't know when you minister, you ain't got to be on the cue to the other thing. It's what God be doing because you can sense and you can feel his anointing and his presence. I remember ministering years ago like that. And I got so high, people didn't even know I was that high. 
In fact, I knew it afterwards. I didn't understand it. Why God put his presence on me. Thank you, Lord. And from that point, I began to excel. So the same thing is happening to you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You turn one way and you turn another. You say, wait a minute, what's that? It's the presence of God. It's like you bumped into an angel. <laughs> And I've seen it happen to so many people. You ain't got to be all that. God no. will just love you into his presence. And that's Thank what he does. Lord. And for this, we give him praise. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you, Harold, this morning. I was still calling out our callers. Area code 313-838-1. Zero, three, five. And the lines are open this morning. I give God the praise. If you want to see us, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. We're on all of them. We begin to do this type of ministry in the daytime. We're not on the radio from 8 to 9. And that's Monday and then that's uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And then also on Tuesday, and we come on Fridays. And uh, we come back on Sundays, amen, at 10.30. When we start our service, about 11 o'clock, we pop on. So it's a blessing that we're able to do this kind of ministry. And God gave it to us to do. And we don't mind doing it. And I thank God for Harold being one of the engineers that really help us with the Trombotron screen and with sound. We got another one, Marlon, and we have um, uh, my other son down there. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Amen. Amen. And you see me in the background, a lot of them be doing this work because it takes more than one person to run Amen. it. Amen. So I thank God for that. Amen. And we're not, no man is an island, so no one person could do this type of ministry as we reach out for souls worldwide. And we get some good response. When I looked on the screen and found out where we were reaching and how it switched up, I was shocked. And I said, well, now, God, thank you. And he's doing it right now. He'll do it for anybody if you've got a willing spirit. Carol, what you got to say to our radio audience? Praise God. I thank God for the radio audience. I thank God for you guys being up at this hour praying with the Lifeline prayer line. I thank God for the, the, the faithful. There's a there, there's some faithful folks constantly up listening to the broadcast, standing in the gap. And I thank God for you, and I thank God for the ones that's listening this evening. You know, and I just pray that the Lord keep his hand over you and over your family. And I'm I'm speaking peace into your life. I'm speaking peace where there's, there's no, no there's, there's no, no life, life, where there's, there's confusion. confusion. And I'm, and I'm speaking, speaking peace, peace in the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I thank, I thank God, God for your healing. healing. I'm speaking I'm healing, healing over, over your, your life. life. And, and the Lord, Lord said, said we, we can, can do this. this. And we'll, and we'll just, just sit, sit back, back and say, I, I did, did your will, Lord. Lord. And, and he, he gets, gets the glory. The Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that, Harold. In Jesus' name. In Jesus We're going to roll right on. Call the prayer line. It's open. Area code 313-838-1035. We're going to take our next caller. Come on, caller. Oscar. Uh, good morning. I just call and thank God for his many blessings in your ministry. And I have so my seed in you. So my seed to you this morning. The Lord has said it be an increase into your ministry and what you're doing right now. That to see that you set the upon God in the Word of God, that it is increased. That it, that it know that it reaches millions and millions of people and people that you don't even realize that 
executive reach, and I just thank you, God, for his blessings. I just ask for special prayer for some friends of mine that lost loved ones, and my uh, ex-wife, my daughter's mother, had lost her husband, something, and just praying for her, and I had lost a real close childhood friend that kind of got me in the right direction growing up. I just praying for his and all of those that lost love that to give them the strength, give them the love, and knowing that God is with them during this time. Amen. But we're going to believe God and thank you, Oscar, because you always come by and you bring a seat. And I want to thank God for your due diligence and the way that you serve and how you hold us up. May God keep you safe over the highways and also keep you safe in everyday life by his spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to try to make it by the church one. Try to make it by the church one Friday. Or if not, it's definitely God bless you, too. Thank you. Amen. We, we got another caller? Brother Ray, right. Brother Ray, how you doing? Oh, pretty good, Pastor Kate. How you doing? Doing great. How do you say you're blessed and highly favored, amen? Yes, blessed and highly favored. Yes, I want to say yes. Just praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let's just lift our hands towards heaven and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's great to hear you always, my wonderful Pastor Tate. And I just called to say that Jesus said, no one comes to the Father but through me. Hallelujah. And I just thank God for everything and just keep on praying for me like you always do. And I thank God everything is going just as it's supposed to. And I just thank God. And we still wait for that breakthrough done in front of me. You know what they told me? What? They told me that no one is getting the POA because the government froze it. And they said, uh, so not until the government unfreezes it, then you can get the POA payments. Uh -huh. I said, well, how is that fair to anybody? That isn't right. After the government gave them millions of dollars or billions of dollars to pay people unemployment. And so, how can you do something like that? Just freeze it and don't pay nobody. So, what, what was it? What was it? It was just a, like a scam you did. The government gave you the people, you know? So, they could use the money, but Thank they could. They're not doing the right thing. Right so, now, the Lord is doing something. Mm hmm. And I'm asking God for more grace, yes. for the outpouring of his mercy and his love and his power. And I'm believing God that he's going to fix everything for you and for all others. By his yes. spirit, we pray now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my wonderful you, pastor. Brother. We love you. We take our next call. God bless your call. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? All right. Um, I just I wish everybody would like go to all their businesses and ask them for a donation because they can take it off on their taxes and for their neighbors and friends and because I. I want two minutes to on the air, and it's just been such a blessing to so many people, and people really need you. And he will. He will. The whole thing, the whole thing is, is like when you like talk, you're so, so low. low. And a lot of times, a lot of times when people are talking to me, I'm just laying down. 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 And, and oh, and no, I'm standing up. I have an asthma. Oh, uh, asthma. asthma. Okay. Okay. I'm asking for yeah. God to, to heal you from asthma. 
and God and told him, make your lungs, your lungs be, so be so clear so you can so you breathe, can breathe freely, freely, especially, especially now. now, in Jesus', in Jesus name. name, amen. amen. Um, I really appreciate you. you. And I pray for you and your family all the time. Thank you. Thank I you. Need I need it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God, God bless you on this holy day. Amen. Amen. Lines are open. Area code 313-838-1035. Come on, somebody. I do believe that God got something in store for you. The best is yet to come. Harold, what you got man, to say? Man. The best the is, is yet to come. come. And I thank God, God because, because the kingdom, kingdom of God, God is at hand. The kingdom of God, God is here. here. And, and if you can just, just believe it and receive it, a lot of people are waiting for the kingdom of God to come with an observation, but it's not going to come with an observation. This is going to be right in front of your face and you don't know it, but you have to receive him. Receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and he'll change your life. I'm not saying he'll take away the issues that you have, but he'll build you on the issues that you have. He'll show you how to deal with different things. The Bible says tribulation work with patience, but let patience have its perfect work. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, that's so true. You know, I'm so grateful that when the Holy Spirit is moving by his spirit, it just transforms everything. And God is ready to bless his people. And salvation is a way out and a way into the kingdom of God. Amen. So we're believing that God is going to do that right now. We're going to take our next caller. Good morning, caller. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, hi, Pastor Tate. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, this is Gertrude. Yeah, Gertrude. I ain't heard from you in a long time. Yes, it's been a little while. I've been dealing with some family situation. Uh -huh. But um, I was calling in for, I need a healing uh, in my body. Um, and I... And, uh, uh, Pastor Ted, I feel so tired all the time. I'm, I need, uh, I'm asking for supernatural strength. It just, you know, okay. it is all right with you, sir. Father God, the healing and supernatural strength to come upon Gertrude. Right now, by your spirit, we pray as you heal Gertrude's body. We thank you for strengthening her and raising her up yes. and giving her what she needs to God. Yes. As we believe you, we take you at your word now. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, gird you by his stripes and his shed blood for you to be nothing but healed and be made whole. Now, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. And strength, gird you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Rita. First Lord, uh, Pastor Tate, did you pray that me and my husband will have a blessed, prosperous, and uh, favorable weekend this weekend? Well, that's going to be wonderful. I thank God <laughs> for the love that both of you have. It seems like y'all going out on a honeymoon. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> God to bless you and your husband that you will have a favorable, beautiful, wonderful weekend in Jesus' name. And it Jesus. is so. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you. And God bless you. Amen. We give God the praise for Thanks. you. I'm having a high time with the Lord with that. Cora. Good morning, Cora. Good morning, Pastor. I'm calling you back about the gentleman, uh, Brother Jones, and he uh, said he do not have a cash app. Wow. Wow. 
that would have been the only way I could help him. Yeah, yeah. And he said he's on Six Mile. He's walking on Six Mile. The bus is not coming. He said he's walking down Six Mile now. Okay. Okay. We pray yeah. that he get there safely and that the yeah. angels of God be encamped around about him. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. makes yes. it to Sinai I'm, Grace. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to call for a well check. I, I'm going to call him later, later for a well okay. check on him to see uh, what's going on with him. Okay. Okay, Pastor. All right. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We'll take our next call. God bless you, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. This is Joy. Um, I'm calling in. I need two prayer requests. One for my friend. Um, she's getting evicted. Um, you know, it's her and her husband, three kids. And uh, they having a just tough time financially, a lot of stuff going on in their lives, just can't catch up. And then the other uh, prayer request I need for myself, because I've been having um, these allergic reactions. This is like my second dose of steroids, and I really don't want to be on them. So I just need just total healing for myself. And then I wanted also to give you a testimony. I pray, I ask you to pray for my marriage with me and my husband and we're doing really good and we're going on celebrating 16 years this year so I, I want yes. to call and thank you <laughs> that's good thank you Lord 16 years of marriage yeah it'll be 16 in December wow. how did you do well <laughs> Well, like you told me, you was like, do you love God? I was like, yes. He said, well, you told me about you need to love your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all take any honeymoon breaks? We did like, We did celebrate our anniversary last year. So we, we trying okay. to do something this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's getting stronger and stronger. Yes, it is. All right. That's what the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord God to bless you and to make both of you, Lord, you stronger than ever before by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Jesus. And we can thank God for doing that now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 All right. We give God the praise for that. Listen, I'm so grateful and so thankful. I only got a few more minutes before we go off the air. And I'm very, very grateful for night after night when we come on. We come on by faith, nothing wavering. A lot of people don't know it costs quite a bit of money to do this. It takes us, oh man, $5,800 a month. And um, sometimes I wonder... How far can I go? And I don't get paid. I don't get a salary or a check for the Supernatural Word Ministry. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm a pastor of the Body of Christ Church and Body of Christ International at 9555 St. Mary's. We're right here on, on Saint, the street St. Mary's, West Chicago, between Greenfield and Southfield right across the street from Irma Henderson School. Now, the church sits on St. Mary's and Metatol. It sits on two blocks. So it's an old Catholic church, and it's a new Catholic church to us. Because <laughs> it's our church. And we've done a lot of work in it. And we keep working. I'm asking many of you to come on board with us and to permit yourself to be given to God as we do this work for the kingdom. I'm asking for God to do great things. I don't know how it's going to be done. I just know that God is going to do it. So if you'd like to be a part of something that's moving, today we have a food drive. And the food drive starts really, you got to get in line by 8 o'clock. It starts at 9, I do believe. Well, no, it starts at 8 or 9. 
and it goes all the way to 1130. And we're out here, for real. And sometimes Harold will come by and before he goes to work, or others may come by and be blessed and get the food. The food is free. And a lot of times people don't know if you don't get food, you better get it now. There's some things taking place in our government that's so hideous until you're going to find out in a moment where you're going to be, how you're going to survive, how you're going to live. If you got a pantry, get one open now. Because times are going to get real hard. I was telling people about this years ago, and now it's coming to pass. One of the one, number one things I was sharing with people, get water, store it up. Because water is becoming a commodity. You can see where a lot of the rivers and streams and brooks are drying up. And in the south, they don't even have drinking water. So I want you to get prepared. Jesus is coming. The United States is in a bad way. So we got to pray like this. Listen, call the 24-hour prayer line, which is 313 279 Spread them all around you. Five, five, eight. Jesus saves. Three, one, three, two, seven, nine, zero, five, five. Eight. Also, I want you to write us. We need to join the sound. It'd be a tremendous blessing. Jesus and you can write us on our field box. Jesus saves. Because see, tomorrow's the tenth, I believe. You gotta have the check. Keep us going. So you gonna be there, so if you don't hear parents to can to you, then you know. Going We've done a lot. We believe God for it. But it's been very, very difficult. I want many of you to come to your parents to help this ministry. The P.O. Box is 27591. Detroit, Michigan, zip code 48. Two two seven two seven five nine one Detroit Michigan zip code two two seven. Put on your little custom hat. Stop by the church. I believe God will bless you too. You can drop off an offering. I want you. I want God's blessing to be upon you and your family. Continue to pray. She especially for us. She Come out tonight to the body of Christ. And that's at 9555. The food drives at the same place. Come out Sunday night. Pastor Ford. The church is coming out. We've got a high time. So God bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.